So this is solid state. Um, again, I just grabbed a bunch of demos uh, from Steam. So I don't remember 100% what all of these were. Uh, to progress, click on the, click with the left mouse button. If there are purple highlighted words, click for more info. This demo starts from Act 1, Scene 1, but skips Scene 2. You need to read previously. Read, uh, okay. Chloe considers herself a cultured and intrepid hacker, well suited to a world of technological miracles, miracles and dystopian secrets. But even she can't help but gawk at the sheer scale of Abraxas skyscraper and dense harbor lens. Abraxa, an island city with freewheeling market liberties and the appearance of autonomy due largely to its, uh, its distance from the seat of power of the Lenora nation. Lenora, a great nation of Lenora, authoritarian, cultured, educated, and cares about the continuation of their supremacy above all other things in life. But suddenly, all pretense of due process vanished as a digital smokescreen of censorship and military enforced lockdown encompassed the district of Zircon Hill, the district in Abraxa, characterized by mid-high-rises scaling up the mountainside named because of its history of ceramic and metal shops. Every civilian who happened to be in the neighborhood was cordoned off from the rest of society by armed checkpoints since last week, with no resources nor digital communications passing to and from the outside world. Chloe's here because she needs answers. Her oldest friend and mentor, Rebecca, she's my only ch friend from childhood, my mentor, she's my bedrock, is missing. And Chloe's tractor to Zircon Hill. I'm sorry, I clicked too soon. Rebecca has a tendency to get involved, so Chloe can't help but worry. The timing of the lockdown and Rebecca's disappearance are more than likely, are more, are likely more than coincidence. Mentor is far from helpless, though. Sharp to the point of piercing, adaptable, and armed with rigorously gleaming deltoids that made her Pilates class sweat. She held Chloe's hand through difficult times and taught her to control her unusual hacking abilities and to wield them responsibly, but Rebecca's never gone completely dark before, even in heavily surveilled states. Um, metalcore band known for Shadow Moses and the Death Stranding soundtrack named Bring Me the Horizon released a new video for a song called Parasite Eve. Oh, yo, I know Bring Me the Horizon. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The lockdown has garnered enough international visibility that data scientists are descending on Abraxa. Uh, Harbor City with weak cultural ties but strong constitutional policy, political ties to the Lenorium mainland. To get into the city, Chloe helps to blend in with these experts, taking advantage of, their, of her work placement with the organizational topologist to get a work visa. A VPN server provider that helps with scalable business goals. I mean a Freedoms Index Watcher organization. Now that she's on the ground, the anxiety of, of balancing uh, topologist intel gathering while ascertaining Rebecca's safety needles at her. According to the digital zeitgeist right now, Abraxans everywhere outside of Zircon Hill are furious. This is interesting. They're sick of the oppression and uh, secrecy by Nexer, and like Abraxas, hard-won liberties have taken a nosedive right into the past. Hakeem, you're going to be fine. I'm leaving you in the very couple hands of a local specialist and friend. It's Kubo's birthday tomorrow! What? Give me a lay land that I'm no longer privy to. I, that's so exciting! Happy birthday, Kubo! Makes sense, where are you going? What could be more important than a sudden civil liberties crisis in Lenora's last bastion of freedom? Sound like a news anchor. I've got some business to run in Versivia. Versiva. Superpower republic with ample military, education, housing, and retail markets. Known for its celebrity politicians. Uh. Can't say more than that. I'll be there for just under two weeks. Be good while I'm away. Jeez, what sort of logistics point person wouldn't be on the ground to work with their lead hacker day one? A bad one. You've shown yourself to be more than capable since you joined us at the end of your classes last year. I'm glad Rebecca recommended you, especially since she didn't end up joining us. I didn't tell Hakeem about Rebecca's disappearance. Does he know? Rebecca, I haven't heard from her in a while. Where do you reckon she is? Mm, she should be in Abraxa. Some locals may know better than I if you want to catch up. Just remember, you're representing uh, topologists at all times, but keep all real work quiet. Uh, you're just to make statistical and observational reports for the time being. We don't know who's listening, uh, which could make it hard to provide the international courts with accurate ratings on the region's institutional freedoms and democratic functions. The furry Marie, uh, three years old. Oh my gosh, Moogle's such a baby, or Kupo's such a baby. Topologist is a private VPN. 
server provider that helps media companies reach their scalable business goals. Practically have our masquerading mandate on speed dial. Holy crap, it sounds so dry. Can you reword it to something more exciting? Give me a raise, I'll help you. You're rambling, you're already flustered, flustered already? Uh, you should be used to working with me remotely by now. Hmm. Why do I even try so hard at this organization? I ask myself the same question about you every day. Care about the mandate to protect human rights media, obviously. I know. Heck, I remember it from your recruitment days. You usually give her a special treat? What kind of special treat does she usually get, Lemon? For it's worth, I think there will be situations here that really challenge your perception of legal rights as international biotech markets become in increasingly contentious. A little sincerity goes a long way. Okay, tell me about the local you're pairing me with. What's her name at least? Right, his name's Torrent. Oh my god, is this fucking Chatteron? Whatever is the smelliest thing you can find at the pet supplies place? Wait, what? Um, he's well networked despite his young age. Knows the streets of like back of his hand and has a list of some folks who are missing or likely stuck within a lockdown already. You'll like him, I'm sure. I'll decide that myself. You got your luggage, right? He's also going to set you up in an encrypted apartment. Uh, you should go there now. He's probably waiting for you in the neighborhood. In the Fathom Piers neighborhood. That was very hard to read. Hacking hides an analog known for its serendipitous maker spaces, maker spaces and clandestine restaurants. Traveling under the blanket of darkness, huh? That's just like real hackers do. Why is she crouching so much? This is, this is strange. Uh, I would say that real hackers don't say things like that, but I know your skills are the real deal. Damn right. Real hackers need sleep too, though, and you'll be traveling for the better part of the day. The flight was long enough to catch a few hours on of rest on the way. I'll be fine. Give me the brief. We know that Nexer, the lead biotech company in Braxa, ordered the lockdown. It's their brand name, private security police wandering everywhere. What triggered this? Well, rumor is that Nexter, uh, Nexter's been courted by new governmental buyers. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. The Minhest faction and the Hydratinist? Heavy industries and heavier military. Thrive on certainty their growing influence in the world and exact stability at all costs at home. Uh, I've been fighting over political supremacy over Lenore for half a decade, and now they're making biotech their battleground. So now people feel like they're bringing their conflict into Abraxa? Anyone trying to force a point? That's just it. This lockdown's happening in Zircon Hill, known for its progressive community leaders and activists. Did the violent competition between Menist and, and Hydratanus spill over? Nexter isn't known to speak truth to power, especially since CEO Nialis took over. Um, okay, that's like no information. Uh, so it's hard to imagine how this lockdown is of any benefit to the Abraxan locals. Or is it that some Zircon Hill activists decided to get involved and embarrass one of the factions who make up Lenora's top Politoboro? Ooh, that's a lot. You aren't making this easy. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna tiger mom you, Chloe. I don't know what that means. Meet up with Torrent, get settled in. It's impossible to determine what's happening on the ground so far, so you two will have to make your own plan. You need everything else. We have this encrypted channel. You can trust Torrent. We'll see about that. Anyway, I'll let you know when I have more concrete inf information. See you in a Braxton in two weeks. Stay safe. Yeah, fine, you too. What happened in scene two? Chloe meets Torrent, a local Braxton Icono hacker who brings her up to speed on what's happening in Braxa and to lays her sixth sense. I don't know what that means. Icono hackers have a one in a million chance of neurocircuitry that allows for intuitive hacking without external interface nor implant. Fascinated by each other, they chat about their mutuals as they scheme about sneaking into Zircon Hill. Onwards to scene three. I'm trying to teach my fiance's dog new games since she can't run, so new game is seek involving hiding treats and such in a room and having her poke around. Something she's not really known for, working the brain in new ways. That's really that's a really good idea, Brian. That's a really good idea because she still has to do stuff. When Chloe and Turn are Torrent are safe miles away, Turn, Turn. Tiger parenting is a form of strict or demanding parenting. Tiger parents push and pressure their children to maintain high levels of, demo, of academic achievement or success in high status extracurricular activities. The term Tiger Mom was coined by Yale Law School professor Amy Cha in her 2011 memoir Battle Hymn of the Tiger Mother. Largely Chinese American concept, the term draws parallels to strict parenting styles extensively enforced throughout households. Oh, okay. Interesting. Thank you, Brian. 
Um, the whole district looks like it's under a dome of frozen smoke. The physical manifestation of the haze. Oh, it's haze. I remember I, I played haze. I know this game. An electromagnetic interface that can shut down hubs of fiber nets. Looks like a block of synthetic fog. Chloe itches to hack her way inside for any threat of information that could bring her closer to finding Rebecca. As they traverse the city, Chloe, Chloe learns that Torrent has lived in Abraxa all his life with his neural network instinctively wrapping around the fibers of its streets. I feel terrible. I'm also an aspect of never please. She's the one who wants to be a doctor or a lawyer. Sure. I, I, can, I can see that. Chloe envies him and she doesn't have a place where the roads feel like a second skin. The closest she's been were days on the Arc... Uh, our Techni University campus back in Versiva. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Versiva, that one. Campus is multiple continents with a self indulgent highbrow and progressive branding. I attended there with Rebecca. Good to know. And not date until you reach 20 when you should be married. Right. No dating and then marry. Right then. Damn, I thought our icon icono hacking could help us get away with easily hiding in plain sight. Not so easy for me to just tap into Nexter's private fiber net because of the haze the tasers do see my range a lot too still i should be able to scan for a next or smart car good thinking these rich bitches will have cars with ids to unlock them ids that'll make for a good masquerade fancy looking car for someone high ranking yeah all right let me take this uh cough drop i feel my throat getting sore so we can push our way through the next or scum if we have to hmm there you go one car down three blocks Right on. Found ID for Sergeant Marlon Wen, his largest standing family and little daughter living along Exel Street in one of the hand blown glass sky rises. Wen specializes in riot and crowd control. As someone with authority and the right skills, he's a good fit for a dupe. I'll take the ID. Hey, let me take it. I'll be able to extract more info from them. IDs are my thing. Do you want me to have control of them or not? If I play as the militia, you can still do reconnaissance. I'll give you some randomized ID and you can ask any questions you want. No, you do recon. I know how these guys talk, what their weaknesses are. How hard can it be to intimidate and ask, uh, in, 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 imitate an asshole soldier? Next are used to be heralded as heroes, heroes that protect the city. Some people still have a lot of deep trust with the corporation. They have a lot of the infrastructure these folks rely on. Fine. Disagreement aside, they still work in sync. As Chloe steals Sergeant Wen's ID, Torrent's locational hacking makes sure that the real Wen's actions won't interfere with theirs in the fiber net. Capable of isolating packets of data and making sure that people do not cross paths, his specializations work together with hers like halves of a whole. She watches him for his reaction to gaining Nexer's access to the online world, quietly curious. Damn it, there's a flare up at the Willow Street Community Center. How many soldiers are responding to it? Not too many, but who do you think instigated the conflict? It's Ermine's home turf. Nothing bad ever happens there. They call the Oracle there because she just helps people find their path, you know? My money's on the Nexer thugs. As they reach the community center, Chloe can feel Torrent sag as they take in the chaos unfolding before them. Ermine stands in the middle of a group of half a dozen militiamen, hemming her in and prodding at her. She holds her ground as much as she can, her voice low and gesturing for calm, but it's clear that not the locals around them is taunt with distress. A breaking point is coming. Armand's body folds into the ground by the sickening sound of a rifle hitting flesh and bone. A collective inhale of anger radiates outward before turbulent sounds overlap into jagged noise. Torrent looks away. Oh shit, my brother's looking over there. What? Torrent, pay attention. Ermine's. Why does he have to be here? He's got his revolutionary orange shirt on. Just for the optics, he's probably going to make a scene for symbolic reasons against Nexer. Damn it. Stay focused, please. Hey, stay focused. I can keep an eye on him. You just keep in character out there. Ignoring the skin of a superior officer. Shame the Nexer thugs into submission or appeal their sense of humanity. Just make sure they leave and leave Ermine alone. Right, okay, I appreciate it. Torrent heaves a shaky breath and jumps into the fray. Chloe watches with goosebumps as Torrent shifts his location with his powers. He's suddenly behind the most antagonistic soldier who is brandishing his rifle at Ermine. The gleaming ring of the soldiers' helmets threatens everyone in proximity, but Torrent's stare disguises their spear officer boards in each of them in turn until they salute. The most aggressive soldier's cockroach look posture twitches to grudging attention.
yeah, sounds about right. Man, that soldier aggression was unwarranted. Let me help you up. Soldier, you've got some explaining to do. We aren't going to move ahead in this region by beating people into the ground. Big vermin like her would listen to orders these pesters trying to stir up trouble. We gotta put them in their place. Torn's tr going to get rid of these guys. I'll have to hack the lead thug and send him info he can work with. Oh. I don't know what any of these things... I still don't know what I'm really doing in this game, so we're just... Uh, Finn inconsistently plays for, pays for physio for painful reoccurring spasms in his right leg. There's no way Nexter doesn't have more advanced treatments that could cure within a week, plus Finn doesn't work more top, top shelf care. Previous behavior, behavioral issues in the workplace included buying a colleague uh, paid a significant settlement was fired. Nonetheless, he still had a record couldn't find a new job. In a separate hiring letter, Nexter made him sign an agreement to a uh, subsistence wage for 16 months in order to avoid a prison term. With terms of his hiring, Finn was not provided with health care benefits. Division one football and a lot of sports are forbidden from formal practices, but a lot of places are doing voluntary workouts, which are you guys did pretty much the same thing. Yeah. It's like, it's like, hey, you don't have to come to practice if you don't have to, but you better fucking come to practice. I swear to God, you better come to this practice. Listen, it's a voluntary practice, but that if you don't show up, I will fucking bench you and not play you the rest of the year. So, you know, just show up if you want. This is interesting. How am I supposed to unpack that? Well, he's stuck. He can't get more financial stability or find other jobs. What Nexter did to him is predatory and coercive. This is hard. I'm supposed to be playing the bad guy now? Listen, personally, I think Nexter should have paid you fairly from the start. You don't know what I went through. How do you think I got where I am? I didn't go about beating people who could have been my neighbors. You lived here once. People who have not had the best researchers, resources in life still deserve another chance. You think I deserve another chance? If you want to keep this job, you got to treat people better. And besides this job, you got nowhere else to go. That's your second chance. Do better. I remind all those shaking. Clearly, the ones to remain in the conversation to protect your community. Oh, encourage better, better behavior for healthcare. Yeah, your medical records show, show you've only received basic care for your leg. What about it? You get your shed together here. I'm sure I could put in a better, a, a good word for better care. Even the folks gathered around are taken aback by how un, uh, outrageously uncaring and competitive necks are sound. Her mind looks appalled on Finn's behalf. Huh, Finn held her gaze for a second there. Her mind seems poised and composed, and the improving situation has a calming effect on the crowd. Okay, okay, I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good here. This game is cool, but it's also scaring me. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's accurate. Must have some sort of inferiority complex about coming from a low-income neighborhood and wants to step all over the people now that he's moving on to Nexer. Um, I think we've been picking, like, good options so far. You were born in this neighborhood just blocks from here, and this is how you treat people you grew up with? You don't know my life. I recognize you. you uh, I was still a junior teacher when you were in secondary, right? At the Zircon Hill Collegiate. Uh, you know, a lot has changed in the neighborhood since you left. The streets in front of your dad were, dad's hardware store are a lot safer. We really want people here to remember you as a bully? Who knows? You might be working with someone else from this neighborhood one day. There's others who share the same roots as you. There you go. Military thugs don't look that invulnerable anymore. 
The blind how folks rose around Ermine now, buoyed by her fearlessness and forgiveness. Military shuffle uncomfortably, giving way to Ermine's gravity as she's embraced by her people. Enough of this. No higher ups are going to be happy to do your favor, Finn. What, you, what you're doing here, what you're all doing here, is an absolute waste of Nexer resources. Oh shit. Uh, you must be seeing the approved server request to put you on paid suspension. It's just it's just a slap on the wrist. You'll see. We'll let internal su supervisory decide. The rest of you escort Finn back home. If you derail it off course, I'll know. Worried about having their complicity exposed, the rest of the men rush to follow Torrance's orders. In the flurry, Chloe notices an encroaching shadow. She has to quickly decide whether to burden Torrance with yet another emergency. Man, these these moves are. Torrance's brother has a syringe filled with God knows what poisons. His adrenaline is spiked. He's fast approaching the knot of soldiers with Torrance in the middle. Should I one torrent and tell him to do something or make Wayland briefly forget what he wants to do? Uh, make him forget. Chloe makes haste in the shadows of surrounding buildings, covered by her randomized Abraxan ID, taking care to minimize her protecting her biometrics. It won't do to shake Torrance's attention now. She sneaks up on Torrance's brother, watching for every twitch of his composure from about two meters away. Chloe has a clear, uninterrupted line of electrical current between her bios and his. Within a heart racing second, she finds what she needs to affect. Chloe momentarily blocks his memory with the concealed syringe. Of course, it might be a problem if the syringe was in his long-term memory too, but at least it'll disrupt his immediate trajectory. You, what are you doing? Your brother had a concealed syringe, and I didn't want, uh, I didn't want you to hit code rot. I made sure he didn't, I don't know, stab you in the back for strutting around his nexer. I know my brother, he's, never mind, you altered his memory, didn't you? Can't you stop taking unnecessary risks? I was being cautious, I calculated the risks. I've been at this longer than you. Can I just be worried for both of you? Memory stuff is dangerous, not to mention a violation of his mind. I'm sorry. It's not me you have to apologize to. Let's just loop back around and be ourselves again. Fine, rendezvous with the courtyard. This game's weird. When they meet each other again in their own skin, they take a moment to breathe through what happened. With their small amount of pieces at odds with repetitive pinpricks of pain they feel about the, they feel from the community core. Can you feel that too? Yeah. My range is so short that I can't tell clearly. Seems like there's people here who are sick, really sick. The vector may be SciTech. I saw some evidence of it when I skimmed over messages from the higher ups from the Nexer ID. Could it be a biotech attack? Torrent's eyes darken at the question before he can answer. Wayland practically runs them over. Torrent curses under his breath. Thanks for playing. This is weird. It's a weird game. This was this is a super weird one. Yeah, this yeah, the the like camera angle shifting and like sort of like static placement um of of assets and stuff like looked really cool. Um and I really like um the sort of like near future um technology like like granted it's it's a bit more advanced than like near future stuff usually is but that's pretty neat um and yeah looking at other looking at other screenshots like it's it's pretty cool um i like that like um um what's the word i want like when when we were hacking that guy and like we hacked all the info about him and I had to tell Torrent like how to react to him in the conversation. That was really neat. I really like that.